At this time, I'd like to invite uh, Tom and Kath Kathy Alexander down front here. Uh, Larry and Carolyn, Tom's parents, are here. I'd like to invite you to come down too, please. Would you join us? And then I'd like to invite our elders, any staff person that's here, to please come forward. The pastor's three. This past Monday, Tom and I uh, meet every Monday morning, 9 o'clock, and we meet to go over the past weekend, make plans for the future, whatever. We pray together. It's been a, a blessing to minister with this partner, a true partner in ministry. Well, we met on Monday, and uh, as we sat at the table, he slid this piece of paper across the table to me, and this is what it says. Dear Pastor Ken and elders of the Fairfield Christian Church, please accept this letter of resignation as teaching and worship pastor of the Fairfield Christian Church. My last day of service will be February the 13th, 2012. I have been called to serve as the senior pastor of the Amazing Grace Christian Church in Grove City, Ohio. The church there had a restart a few years ago, and I will serve as their first full-time pastor in years. My experience in new church work, as well as the 14 years at Fairfield, have uniquely equipped me to serve this body of believers that has a desire to reach their community with the love of Christ. Thank you for the honor to partner with you in ministry. Kathy and I love the people at Fairfield very much and trust that God's best is yet to come. In Christian love, Tom Alexander. Today, this is a difficult day, uh, not just for me, but certainly for all the staff, uh, the elders, and for all of you, uh, to have to say goodbye to a family that have faithfully been partners in this ministry uh, for 14 years. If there's anything good in this, and I know there's a lot of good in it, uh, it's just taking me a while to work through it, <laughs> is that Tom and Kathleen will only be 40 minutes up the road, and uh, we can continue to be partners in ministry uh, as he, he serves up there. And so Tom and I have talked about ways we can cooperate in the future, and I certainly look forward to that. But we want to say thank you to the Alexanders, and uh, we pray for the very best for them because I'm, I know that they're excited about this new chapter in their lives. So if we've got, you got one? Okay, please. Um, hey, I, I just want to say that uh, we have a wonderful pastor, Ken, a wonderful eldership here, and uh, I know that God has great things in store for the Fairfield Christian Church. Uh, I've wrestled with this. I've wrestled a lot. I've wrestled with God, and uh, he won. I, so that's all I can say. Uh, don't ever try that. But uh, it, it's been a, a, an honor for Kathy and I to serve you, uh, with you, these last 14 years. And as, the, as my letter said, um, we, are, we are being called. We are being called to a new venture. Um, we are very excited, but we also uh, will miss you so very much. But God has so many good things in store for his kingdom. So thank you. Uh, this is not, we're, we'll be here a couple more weeks yet. I'll get to preach in a couple weeks here. So, you know, let's not get too weepy or all that junk yet. All right. Let's, uh, we are serving the Lord together, right? And uh, thank you. God bless you. You know, brothers and sisters, uh, dear family, in this time, there's a lot of emotions. Uh, there's sadness. There's uncertainty. There's, um, there's just the joy that ultimately in God's kingdom that Tom is being called to. And um, what an amazing testimony in the lives of Tom and Kathy. And, and uh, you know, Tom and Kathy have stood by and been steadfast to this body in the midst of a lot of transition. 
scripture in first timothy says the elders among you and overseers who direct the affairs of the church well are worthy of double honor particularly those whose work is preaching and teaching and so will you join us in giving once again tom and kathy and their family and glory to god and honor to them I'm going to ask uh, Dave Phelan to pray. You know, Tom, I'm sad. Loretta's brokenhearted. But you know what? You understand that it's foolish to reject a call for, from God. And I think we all appreciate your obedience. I know I do. Thank you. Let's pray. Thank you. Thank you. Father in heaven, although this morning um, we're saddened and maybe discouraged, as Ken said, it is not about us. It is about you. And for that reason, this morning, we have joy and we have every reason to celebrate yes. what this man has done in the past 14 years, what he will continue to do in the months and years to come to build your kingdom. Because that is what this is about, yes. kingdom building. Yes. And we have a man here that will build that kingdom for all eternity. We give you glory. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. Yes. In Jesus' holy name, mm. amen.